another day of solving math problems so at this point we're going to solve five different problems from our YOLO sim let's analyze so are you ready so let's get it on so our first problem that we're going to solve which is this a regular pentagon pyramid has an edge 13 centimeter and a height 5 centimeter so find the volume so to answer the question number one so the given are 13 centimeter for the edge and 5 centimeter for the height. So the formula that I'm going to use is V equals to 1 third times A squared times height. So V, which stands for the volume. So, copy one third times a, a squared, which is the edge. So, 13 centimeter squared times the height, which is 5 centimeter. So, V equals to one third. So, 13 centimeters squared is 16 169 centimeter times the height which is 5 centimeter so v equals to 1 third so 169 centimeter times 5 centimeter is equal to 845 so, uh, you can also write this into 8, 4, 5 over 3. So, our V now is equals to 845 divided 3 will be 281.6. So, this would be our volume for the regular pentagonal pyramid which has an edge of 13 centimeter and a height of 5 centimeter so for our second problem that we're going to solve which is a circular cylindrical tank is lying on level ground has a length of 13 feet and a diameter of 4 feet the tank is filled with the water to a deep of Two feet what is the area of the width portion so we're going to find the width portion here so at first we should we are going to draw a cylindrical tank so the cylindrical tank lying in the ground has a length of 15 feet 15 feet and 4 feet for the diameter so next is we're going to use the letter area formula which is letter area is equal to 2 phi r h so copy 2 and phi so r which is the radius so which the uh, 4 feet 4 feet divided by 2 is equals to 2 r which are our radius so 2 here 
and our height is the 15 feet so 2 phi so 2 times 15 equals 30 so 2 phi times 30 equals to 65 so the our lateral area or the width area of the cylindrical tank will be 188.50 feet squared so this would be the uh, area of the wet portion of the cylindrical tank so for the third problem that we're going to solve which Find the area of the triangle whose base is 20 meter and height measure 10 meter. So, the area of the triangle we're going to find in this problem. So, the given for this problem. So, we have 10 meter for in the height. And also we have 20 meter for the base. So the formula that we're going to use to find the area for that for this triangle is A equals to one half base in height. So this would be the formula for to get on getting the area so a equals to one half so our base here is 20 cent uh, 20 meter and our height will be 10 meter so one half so we're going to multiply the base and height so 20 times 10 will be 200 so our area now 1 half times 200 will be 100 so this would be the area of this for this triangle which has a height of 10 meter and base of 20 meter So for the fourth problem that we're going to solve, which we have a figure below that we're going to refer to answer this question. So the question is, angle B measures 35 degree. So what is the measure of angle C? So we're going to find the measure of angle C. So for this problem, the given is angle B which has a measurement of 35 degree so angle C so there's no measurement for it so we're going to find the measurement of angle C so we are going to use this process so C equals to 180 degree minus the angle B which is the 35 degree so C is equals to 180 degree minus 35 degree will be 145 degree so this would be the measurement for our angle C the question is a certain angle has a supplement six times its complement what is the angle so we're going to find the angle here
so for this problem our complement is 90 minus x and our supplement will be 180 minus x so the solution to get what is the angle for this certain angle so 180 minus x which is the number of our supplement is equal to 6 close parenthesis 90 minus x so our 6 here, 6 here which is stated in the problem that given which is has a supplement 6 times its complement so this this would be the reason why we have 6 here so 180 minus x so 6 times 90 is 540 minus 6 times x equals negative 6 6 x so next we're going to group the same variables which is x and transpose 6x into this area and then we're going to copy 540 and the 180 uh, we're going to move here so the positive sign will be going to negative sign because this is this would be the rule if we're going to to bring it here from there from here to there okay so 6 minus x minus 6x rather so 5x equals 540 minus 180 equals 360 so to have an x for the final answer so we're going to uh, divide it into 5 so same as with in, in this part we're going to divide it by 5 so cancel 5 so x will be remain is equals 360 divide 5 will be 72 degree so this would be the uh, angle of this problem which is 72 degree